double team move on the way as they both pick up Bondolero's star at the same time and flip them over on that press slam. Action on that. Oh, watch out. He flies! Fly, fly, attack! You might have company, watch out. And hold on! attractions of the evening, a Lucha Libre tag team battle. So much has happened since the last time we've had Lucha Libre in North American pro wrestling. It was a six-man tag team tables match that took place in Markham, Illinois. In that bout, it was three against three tonight, two against two, and Bondolero star and Aragon are looking to exact some revenge against Funebre and Yakuza. And what we're going to see here is going to be some high flying and a lot of interesting technical grappling. And what's interesting about this is clearly there is a size differential between the two teams. Rene Gray, a heavyweight, also a multiple sport athlete, has boxed. He's also played soccer previously. Has a huge arms, huge chest and back. His tag team partner, Yakuza, is equally adept to the challenge. Lucha Libre rules, technically in effect, tags do not necessarily have to be made, but ultimately, if a body leaves the ring, another member of the team can participate on behalf of their team to interject at any point of time. There we go. We start with Aragon against Yakuza. Yakuza, a very technical grappler who likes to outthink the competition and get them down, and Aragon taking control of Yakuza in the early going. Back heel trip as he rolls Aragon backwards to his feet. Connects with the side headlock takeover. Lucha Libre tag team action. At any time in this bout, it could get a little out of control with as many as four bodies involved at one time. You better watch out if one of those bodies starts to fly outside of the ring. It might take out one or more of the opposition, maybe even several chairs in the crowd. Definitely you have to consider that Yakuza and Funebri are much better in terms of striking because of their size and their techniques, but Aragon taking control of Yakuza on the early going. You don't want to blink at any time during these battles because at any time you can see new partners, new results at any moment. The kicks and the strikes that are exhibited by each of the members of this bout could be impressive. And I'm sure Bondolero Star and Aragon remembered what happened to their fallen partner Vengador who got power bombed after a six-man tag team tables match. As a matter of fact, after that bout he was power bombed through a chair and we haven't seen Vengador ever since. Yanks him down by his neck and his throat, and Aragon again with Yakuza halfway across the ring. From Avery, apparently accusing Aragon of cheating. Wait a minute, you can't do that. Give me a break. Yakuza leaves the ring under the bottom rope. Now, technically, he just. And now, Mondolero star enters the match. He's telling him to be quiet. AJ Rowe is saying be quiet and Alright, so as, as a matter of fact, with the Lucha Libre rules, as long as one member of the team is in the ring, the match can continue. Tornadoy trying to provide a cheap shot in the direction of Aragon as they lock up. Go behind by Fernabry. Fernabry might have the weight advantage on Bondolero Star by 90 pounds. Nice judo throw by Fernabry. Yanks him to his feet by using one arm. Bondolero Star yanked down, tripped, and then Fernabry rolled backwards almost onto his head. Side headlock is applied. Bondolero Star to the ropes. Both men collide. Bondolero Star tries again. Elevated over, nice snap, snapping head, head, snap mirror over the top sideways onto the mat below. 
Bandolero Star reversed to the ropes this time. Cunebre elevates Bandolero Star. Ugly arm drag. And then immediately does the handstand into the nip up. Great athletic talent exhibited by Bandolero Star. A ton of athletic ability. And everyone knows that Bandolero Star and Aragon will take a lot of risks, maybe too many risks, in order to win. And this time, will they have enough help or are they outnumbered too often? That's what happened in the recent six man tag team bout. They have not forgotten about what happened in Markham. Yakuza back in the ring with Aragon. Kick to the left knee. That might have just crippled the opposition as finally Yakuza has kicked it into gear. Rematch has already been set for December the 6th, the tag team tables match. My goodness, Aragon trying to fight back out of this. But Yakuza picks up Aragon, gets him backwards over the ring, and still gets yanked down by the arm. Block of the strikes, the fingers interlocked. Aragon tried to climb the ropes, almost fell. Nice wrist lock takeover. Yakuza just got rolled underneath the bottom rope to the outside. It was a belly to belly suplex that Bondolero Star suffered through a table on top of Aragon and Vingador in Markham. Nice arm drag down goes Grenadre. Grenadre collides into Bondolero Star. Forward roll into a head scissors takeover. Bondolero Star drop kicks Grenadre and sends it to the outside. Bondolero Star on the run. Watch out. He flies. Fly, fly, attack. Grenadre takes the fall to a chair. Yakuza's yeah, back in the ring, taking on Aragon. You might have company, watch out. Back body drop by Yakuza to Aragon. If the action's coming near you, you gotta get up and move out of the way for your own safety. It only makes sense. Yakuza nearly took the head off of Aragon. Man, a lot of the children of the world were frightened for their lives. Now the double teaming is about to ensue between Funebre and Aragon. Off the top rope through the table and then on to two others. Bonolero Star is not forgotten about it. And now that Funebre has another adversary on his side, Yakuza, that might add to the extraordinary advantage that is shared between Yakuza and Double hip toss, down goes Aragon. Got flipped onto his back with ease. I mean, clearly now, the two men against one. Aragon is giving up nearly 300 plus pounds of body weight. Um, AJ Romo is being mistreated. The loot, the loot, these luchas are doing whatever the heck they want. Oh no! Oh, they spread his legs. They just kicked his bottom. He might he might be squirting all sorts of different things later. My goodness, this is unbelievable. Here's Bondolero Star back in the ring as a tag is made. Bondolero Star being choked across the top rope by Fonebre. And then Fonebre using that boxing background to throw those right-handed hooks right there underneath the rib cage. Yakuza kicking at the same time. Double team move on the way as they both pick up Bondolero Star at the same time. And Press slam. Nobody can stop Grenadry. Nobody can stop Yakuza. It's two men, too many, and the fans know it. Not enough. Too much potential, too much power. Too much torture being delivered at this moment. They caught Bonolero Star in the Oh my! A face plant drop! He might have been knocked out for good after that one. Grenadry laughing about what he's just accomplished. Jogging him. Oh my! You could break someone's arm that way. Goodness. An Aaron kick right up against that arm and the head, neck and the ribs. Unbelievable. Over and over again. Bondolero Star being torn. Oh, look at that! Yakuza elevated Bondolero Star and kicked his partner, Foot Abre, right in the chest. Chris Lock takeover. Bondolero Star literally wrestling by himself against two men. Finally has Yakuza by himself in the ring as he sends him to the ropes. Off the second rope. Wow, Hurricane Rana! High difficulty on that takedown. He rolls him across. An attempt at a crucifix pin. Yakuza bridges out. Lots of action. Lots of 
of excitement. It is the ultimate exhibition of skills and techniques for this, the charity event for the Illinois Masonic Children's Hospital in LaGrange. We're in the Villa Park Masonic Lodge for this, the Halloween Bash, Friday night, October the 24th. This is incredible action. You're not going to see anywhere else. Oh my! They cross patterns and Funebre collides in the Bonolero Star, blindsiding him, an interception, an intersecting drop. And Bonolero Star might have suffered a concussion on that. Oh, the Funebre bomb off the second row. Oh, Bonolero Star manages to continue to fight. And I don't know how much energy he's got left in him after being squashed like that. But he cannot seem to run or hide now. Funebre is going to control. Now the submission hold. The arm trapped behind the back. He's being choked out. And Aragon breaks it up. Dropped him right there. And the lap muscle on the back. Right hand side in the back. Aragon sending Funebre for the ride. Oh, he dropped him down that time. His own spine buster. Flipping, pitting attempt. He's got both legs. Oh, he almost stole the win right there. Underneath Pune Avery. Now, Aragon trying to trap both legs as he crosses them over. Now, trying to hyperextend that hamstring along one side. Yakuza sneaking around. Yakuza asking if Pune Avery needs assistance. Oh, my. Double axe handle from behind the bag. Yakuza dictating the pace of the action now that he's in the ring with Aragon. Oh my, flipping Death Valley driver drop. He flipped him over and over and over and, and Aragon using as much of the referee's count as possible to give himself a chance to continue. Snaps him down using both of the wrists. Yakuza now trapping the arms and torturing the shoulders at the same time. Bono Aerostar with the roundhouse kick, sending Yakuza back towards the ropes into the ring apron on the outside. Two in the ring, two outside of the ring. Bono Aerostar on the run. Ducks underneath the clothesline. Brunabri catches him for a moment. And then he got snapped down by the arm. Brunabri nearly crossed patterns with Aragon. Hold on, watch out! Oh my! Moonsault press! And Asai Moonsault using the middle rope as he flew in the air and landed on Funebre in front of fans in the front row. El Aragon, he's gonna run too! Oh, watch out. He got picked up and twirled in the air. Nice wrist like take over by Aragon. Can you believe this action is still going on? And they haven't stopped for a second. Turning Yakuza over. Trying for the Lamar. He's strong cradle. He's got him in the middle of the ring. They got the revenge. Wrestling fans, here are your winners, Bartolero Star and Aragon. What an incredible victory at the end. Bartolero Star hit that springboard moonsault off the second rope. A death defying drop. The risk leads to rewards. Good Avery was taken out of the bout. And then Aragon snuck around Yakuza and hooked every limb he possibly could find. And he suffered the defeat. Great battle between two battle tested tag teams. Bartolero Star and Aragon get some revenge. North American Pro Wrestling. Lucha Libre tag team action. And Fred Avery says he wants to blast AJ Robo right in the head. The fans want to see it. The referee doesn't deserve this. Oh, he, he embraced the referee and he embraced Yakuza. Hey fans, another round of applause for Fred Avery and Yakuza. It was all said and done. Aragon, Bondolero Star are the winners.